Girls who code minus to you in six. All this and more in today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. AMC and Girls Who Code will be having a hackathon on Tuesday, May 21st in rooms 252 and 253, where you can learn about JavaScript and make your own apps. Free pancakes will be provided. Have a good day, Novi. What's up, Wildcats? Novi Girls Lacrosse is doing their best in the history of ever. They are, at the time of recording this, ranked number five in the state of Michigan and number two in Division I. Made even more impressive by the fact that they are in the toughest conference in the state. We interviewed team captain Mia Tanacha and record-breaking scorer Ali Katinas for more info. How's the team doing right now? All right, we're doing really well right now. Our record is 11-5. and five. Um, We did lose against Northville last night, but we did fight really hard to the end. I think we're improving a lot as a team overall. And this is probably the best we've done since I've been here at least. Why do you think that this season has gone so well? I think this season's going really well because we're all working together as a team. Um, we're like really patient on and off the field and just a lot of hard work. What's next for girls lacrosse? Um, I see a lot more wins in our future. Our program is growing every single year we've gotten better. And as the years go by, our team gets better. So I'm seeing a state title at some point. We've heard that there are some records being broken. What can you tell us about that? Ali Katinas is about to break 100 single season goals. Her previous record was 76 from 2016. She's two goals away from 100 and another four goals away from 200 in her career. Pretty incredible. When asked, Coach West had this to say about the team. It's so much fun to watch this team. Part of the reason they're so successful is because they don't play as a group of individually good players, but find more strength in combining their powers well as one team unit. Their teamwork and consistency is the best Novi Girls Lacrosse has ever seen, and everyone plays a key, important role on this team. Great job, girls. Definitely been an incredible, record-breaking season for our Girls Lacrosse team. Make sure to support them and to tune in to our weekly Wildcats sports wraps for more info on how they're doing. See you, Wildcats. The Photography Interest Group is having their next meeting on Friday, May 17th from 3 to 4 p.m. in MC Lab 1 across from Room 182. They're going to be learning how to edit pictures and more, and they'll be editing on Adobe Photoshop. Say their Wildcats. What's up, Novi? The Language and Culture Clubs are hosting their annual end of year picnic on the soccer practice fields behind the tennis courts on May 20th. Clubs like Dane, Japanese Club, HLH, and more will be there to provide snacks, games, and music. Make sure to go check it out, and if you have any questions, email Miss Baker at this email here. What's up, Novi? Welcome back to my news to you. We're going to be talking about a few things. Let's get right into it. First thing we're going to be talking about is Ghosts of Tsushima is officially on PC now. It was on PlayStation only, but now PlayStation is getting these games on PC, like God of War, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, Horizon, and all those games. Uh, God of War Ragnarok is supposedly going to be coming up next, but if you haven't played Ghost of Tsushima, you don't have a PlayStation, and you have a PC, you should check the game out. Beautiful story, I, and it's beautiful scenery. The setting is fantastic. Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the live-action movie, is they set their release date for December 5th, of next year. We'll see if they stick to it. I'm sure they will. The studio is actually pretty good with uh, their release dates and sticking to like what they do. I didn't really like the first one, but I know that the really diehard fans did like the first one. So I, I'm excited for the second one only because I just hope they improved on it. Just on my thoughts on the on the first movie because I do like the story. I like the lore and like everything that goes with it. I know they're kind of having a little twist to it. So, you know, I'm interested in seeing what happens. We have our first look at Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey as Joel and Ellie in season two of The Last of Us. If you have played The Last of Us one and two, you know what happens in the second one. Obviously, no spoilers, but it's it's going to be crazy. The show is really good and well made. I, I was very impressed with how they did it. I know HBO will do fantastic with their work. They do fantastic with their shows as well. So I have no doubt that season two will be just as good, if not better. 
than season one. Well, I hope you enjoyed the news that I have to give to you, and we'll see you later, Novi. And well, cats, the classical music interest group is opening up officer applications for the 2024 to 2025 school year. They're looking for a secretary and a social media director. If anyone is interested, you can scan the QR code on screen now. Additionally, the AP Season Classical Study playlist is also ready, which can be accessed in the second QR code on screen. Thank you for your time. What's up, Novi? The manga, anime, and comics, and cartoon interest group will be back in the fall. Are you a spy family or Hunter Hunter fan? Do you love to draw and imitate art styles? If you're interested in being a leader and discussing these topics with others, then scan this QR code and fill out the information. Thank you very much, and we'll see you later, Nova. Crochet Interest Group is looking for officers for the 2024-2025 school year. They meet roughly every two weeks and are looking for people available on Thursdays from 3 to 4, especially in the fall. If interested, scan the QR code below. Applications are due on May 20th. Hey, Wildcats. If you're a current 10th and 11th grader who plans on doing dual enrollment in the fall 2024 semester, make sure to turn in your applications to your counselors by May 31st. Check your email or the Counseling Schoology group to find the packet. If you didn't attend the info meeting on April 4th, make sure you meet with your counselor before turning in your application. Feel free to set up an appointment with your counselor if you have any questions. Have a great day, Wildcats. Hey, Novi. Culture Club is meeting on Friday, May 17th in room 182 right after school to talk about the culture of Malaysia in celebration of Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. This will be their last meeting of the year. Snacks will be provided and all are welcome, so see you there. What's up, Novi? Welcome back to another Wildcat Sports Recap. Here's everything that's been going on over the last couple of weeks. Uh, first off, with boys baseball, uh, they got swept by Northville, uh, split against Canton, and then took both games in the Breast Cancer Awareness Games against North Farmington and Livonia Stevenson. Girls softball took two losses to Northville and Canton, but beat Kettering. Girls lacrosse beat Brighton, Canton, and Flint Catholic and took a close loss to Northville. Boys lacrosse went 1-3 and three and got a win against Belleville. Girls soccer beat Heartland and John Glenn, split against Plymouth, and then tied against Northville and lost to Heartland. Our varsity girls track and field team took a win against Canton and finished 5th in Saturday's conference meet. The boys lost to Canton and came in 7th. Both have regionals at Stevenson this afternoon. Stay tuned for next Friday's Wildcat Sports Recap. Hey Wildcats. Thanks for watching today's episode. Make sure you stay hydrated, drink your water, because it's good for you. There's six episodes left, so keep stay tuned for the next six episodes. I'll see you later.